This video will discuss heat and work from the perspective of statistical mechanics. So the internal energy that we've been discussing throughout this chapter is related to our expectation value of energy from statistical mechanics. So our internal energy is a sum over all possible states of the system of the probability of that state times the energy of that state, where the probability that the system is in a given state is 1 over the partition function times the Boltzmann factor of that state, e to the minus energy over Boltzmann constant times temperature, or 1 over q times e to the minus beta ei, where beta is 1 over the Boltzmann constant times temperature, beta the inverse temperature. And the partition function here is the sum over all states of their Boltzmann factors, e to the minus energy of that state divided by Boltzmann constant times temperature, or sum over all states e to the minus beta ei. All right, so what do these energy levels depend on? So primarily for our ideal gases, what we're looking at is the energy of translational motion, which is a function of both the number of particles and the volume of the system. You'll see in the partition function of ideal gases for translations that they're the the volume is right in there, and the number of particles is in there in the power, and also the 1 over n factorial factor in the beginning from our statistical mechanics chapter. Then the probabilities of these various energy levels depends not only on the energy, so it depends on the things that energy depends on, n and v, but it also depends on the temperature because the Boltzmann factor also depends on temperature, and the Boltzmann factor is one of the primary determinants of what the probabilities are. All right, so if we're to say how some how the energy changes during some infinitesimal or small change in the system, so DEI, the change in a given energy level, is its partial derivative with respect to volume at constant number of particles times the change in volume, dV, some tiny change in V, plus the partial derivative in the energy level with respect to number of particles at constant volume times the change in the number of particles. So that's a standard total differential formula that you would see from multivariable calculus for this type of function. All right, so if we have a closed system, a closed system cannot exchange matter with the surroundings. So for a closed system, the number of particles is going to be constant, meaning dn is going to equal zero. And that's what we're primarily looking at in this chapter is closed systems. So DEI, the change in the energy levels then in a closed system where we cannot change the number of particles, is just the partial derivative of the energy with respect to volume times the change in volume. All right, so we have our energy here, which is, as we saw, a sum over all states of the probability times the energy of that state. So a change in the energy, an infinitesimal change in our internal energy, is going to be a sum over all states of the product rule for this differential for dPiEI, which is probability times the change in the energies plus the energies times the change in the probabilities. Standard product rule from calculus one there. All right, so we can substitute in what DEI is from down below here for closed systems being this expression. So the change in our internal energy is a sum over all states of the probability of that state times the partial derivative with respect to volume times the change in volume, plus the sum over all states of the energy of that state times the change in the probabilities. All right, so we also know that for closed systems, the only way that we can change our energy is to exchange energy with the surroundings. The energy of the universe is going to be constant, so the energy of the surroundings must be equal and opposite to the change in energy of our system. And the primary ways in which our system exchanges energy with the surroundings is through work and through heat. If we have the extra restriction that this is going to be reversible, then we have that the reversible work plus the reversible heat is equal to our change in internal energy. All right, so our change in internal energy is equal to our reversible work plus reversible heat. 
And for reversible work, we saw that the tiny change in reversible work is going to be equal to negative the pressure of the gas times the change in the volume. So du equals minus PdV plus dq reversible. Again, only for some reversible process. So if we examine our expressions here, and we look that our change in internal energy is minus something times dv plus another term. I, up here as well, we have something times dv plus another term. So what the structure of these equations implies is that the pressure of an ideal gas from statistical mechanics is equal to the negative sum over all the states of the probability of the states times the partial derivative of the energy of those states with respect to volume. Or would this could also be summed uh, more succinctly as the expectation value of the derivative of part of the partial derivative of energy with respect to volume at constant number of particles. So the pressure of our system is this type of expectation value from statistical mechanics. So if we take the derivative with respect to v of our states and multiply it times our probability, sum over all states, and then take a negative sign, we would get what the pressure of our system is. All right, so this says that the, if this is our pressure, then this says that the reversible work of our system is the sum over all states, the probability of that state times partial derivative of the energy level with respect to volume times change in volume. So since this is the reversible work, everything that's left over in this equation must be the reversible heat. So for our reversible processes, the heat is the sum over all states of the energy level times the change in probability that occurs during that process. As, the, as I said, the reversible heat is going to be the internal energy minus the reversible work. So here's how we took our expressions for what work is in the macroscopic type of system where we have an expansion or compression of an ideal gas. And we use these ideas that we have from statistical mechanics and showed what the expression for pressure is from statistical mechanics and what this implies for our work and heat from our partition function, the energy levels, and the probabilities of those energy levels.